Hello, this is a gross pathology specimen of a coronally sectioned thyroid gland and we're looking here at the cut surface and this is the capsula or the outer surface of the thyroid gland. So these brownish areas represent normal thyroid parenchyma and we can see that there are several pale rounded to irregular masses that I'm outlining dotted throughout the thyroid parenchyma. This is an example of a multifocal tumour. So let's look at the largest tumour mass. There is a partially rounded, partially circumscribed tumour mass. It is approximately 1.5 to 2 centimetres in maximal dimension. And in some areas, we can see that the outline is quite irregular. In fact, it is sort of sending a little infiltrative feelers into the thyroid parenchyma. In other areas, this pale tan masses look a little bit more well circumscribed. This is an example of papillary thyroid carcinoma, which is the commonest thyroid malignancy, and it is also quite frequently multifocal. This means we can see multiple tumor masses. Let's look at another example. Here is another example of a thyroid gland that also has been coronally sectioned to reveal the two lobes and the isthmus. And Again here, this kind of slightly spongy appearance is the normal thyroid parenchyma. We have a few nodules here which have blackish areas of hemorrhage. These are benign nodules. And if you look carefully, we can see that in the isthmic region, there is a lobulated, rather fleshy mass. And this is the tumor mass. It looks more solid and fleshy compared to the rest of the thyroid parenchyma. Papillary thyroid carcinoma, or PTC, is the commonest thyroid malignancy. It tends to occur in young adults, and it's not infrequently multifocal, as you have seen in this case. It may also present with cervical lymph node metastases. It is important to know that the root of spread of PTC is actually via lymphatics. So when a diagnosis of PTC is made, uh, it is also important to examine the cervical lymph nodes. It has an excellent prognosis, and of course this depends on stage, but the overall prognosis for survival after 10 years is more than 90%. The commonest molecular aberrations include the V600E BRAF point mutation, and we may also find red PTC gene rearrangements. Here is an example of a gross picture, and this is another gross appearance of PTC, which is not uh, uncommonly cystic. So here we have a solid area of tumor, and we also have a cystic area, as you can see. And in fact, if you look carefully, there is this appearance of little fine papillary fronds grossly. Here is another possible gross appearance of PTC, and this is a little bit different. We have this uh, solid tumor with these whitish areas, and this represents fibrosis of the tumor stroma. So quite often the tumor incites a dense fibrotic or sclerotic stromal response. So it can appear quite different grossly. And microscopically, the nuclear features are extremely characteristic, and this is what we base our diagnosis of PTC on. So the nuclei are usually enlarged. Very often they are oval rather than round. They have this very pale, almost empty looking chromatin. It is sometimes called ground glass chromatin. And they are often called often any eye nuclei because uh, this cartoon character, often any, has eyes that appear like this, very empty. The other feature is the presence of nuclear grooves, so we may see these folds or grooves longitudinally within the nuclei, and also pseudo-inclusions, and I have a high magnification picture here of a pseudo-inclusion, and what we see is a little island of cytoplasm that is surrounded by nuclear membrane. There are several variants of PTC. The commonest is the classical variant of PTC, which forms these nice slender papillary structures with fibrovascular cores. There is also a follicular variant which is composed of follicular structures rather than papillary structures but still shows the nuclear features of PTC. And there is also a common variant 
papillary microcarcinoma, which is up to 1 cm in maximal dimension. There are, of course, other variants, but these are the commonest variants. Here is an example of classical PTC, and you can see here the papillary structures. Some of them are quite edematous, and this is a higher magnification view showing you the slender papillary structures. And here is an example of the follicular variant of PTC, where you can see that instead of papillary structures, we have follicles, and these follicles are lined by cells still exhibiting nuclear features of PTC with enlarged oval nuclei with extremely pale, empty appearing chromatin. We can also see a nuclear groove here. And finally, this is an example of papillary microcarcinoma. We don't have a scale attached here, but this entire tumor mass is less than one centimeter uh, in maximal dimension. So in summary, this is an example of a case of papillary thyroid carcinoma. And in this case, we can see multiple tumor masses, which appear pale tan in color, with areas that appear to be infiltrating into the thyroid parenchyma. Thank you.